I have cracked 340 LPA jobs and in this video if today I am starting coding I will build these unique projects ordered from beginner to advanced to become a pro coder in just 3 months project 1 no except with ai summarization like notion yes you can make it easily as a beginner this project helps you build your first web app using react node mongodb and open ai so what are we building it is similar to the node app like apple notes or samsung notes but with ai summarization imagine you are typing machine learning in your notes app and with just one click your apps give you a three line summary that actually makes sense now here's how to build it but before that reality is one can't build these projects if they have zero knowledge to do the projects at beginner level i assume you should have at least the fundamentals of front end that is html css javascript and react and basics of back end which is api writing and databases step 1 create a notes interface with react where user can write and edit step 2 set up backend apis with node and express to store notes and user logging details step 3 connect open ai to generate smart summarization and display them under each node now ratings 8 out of 10 in resume power as this shows you understand both coding and how to use ai in apps 9 out of 10 in learning 6 out of 10 in coolness 5 out of 10 in difficulty now before moving on to the second project later on this video i will share the only coding project which i will include in my resume that will give me an unfair advantage if i am applying again at jobs at microsoft adobe and amazon by the way if you are new here i am rajat garg ex microsoft employee who also crack offers from amazon and adobe currently i am co-founder at boss cobra ek Project two, static portfolio website. Even if it's basic, every developer had to build a static portfolio website because it teaches you the visual building blocks of the web, like HTML, CSS, responsive website, and hosting, which many beginners skip. So what are we building? Think of static portfolio website as your digital business card, but can customize with animations and colors. Here's how you can build it. start by writing a basic web page using html for structure and css for design add sections like about me projects and content use tailwind or bootstrap if you want to style faster make sure it looks good on phone too by using something called media queries host your site online using github pages or netify both are free now ratings difficulty level 2 out of 10 Resume worthy, four out of ten. Learning, six out of ten. A cool factor, five out of ten. Depending on how much customizations you can make it. Project three, a to-do list app, but with smart suggestions. A simple to-do list app sound boring. What if our app could also suggest tasks based on your past tasks? Apps like this show employers that you understand how to improve user experience using data. On a learning level, it also helps you level up from basic crud apps by learning how to analyze user data and use AI for personal features. Here's how you can build it step by step. Begin by building the UI using React to add, delete, and check off tasks. Basic crud. Next up, create a backend with Node and Express and MongoDB to store user tasks securely. Add smart suggestions using basic AI logic. or open ai based on past entries or frequent keywords ratings 4 out of 10 in difficulty 5 out of 10 in resume power 8 out of 10 in learning coolness 8 out of 10 now if you thought these projects make you a pro coming up next these intermediate level projects will make you supreme in coding project 4 a resume creator with ai bullet generator if you can build a tool that improves resume you are not just coding you are solving the exact problems recruiters care about if you are still using word to make resumes then i ask you to stop immediately we will make a project that introduces forms pdf generation and dynamic content with ai it expands on your previous project teaching you how to handle files generate document and automate job relevant tasks but to transition from beginner level projects to intermediate level projects 
one must develop the fundamentals of web development, open AI APIs and PDF generations. Here's how you can make it. Create a form flow in React plus Formic to collect user data and then pick templates. Use open AI to auto generate bullet points based on roles and generate a final PDF using HTML PDF. Add login using Firebase and save share option so that users can reuse or upload versions. My ratings, difficulty 6 out of 10, resume power 9 out of 10, learning 8.5 out of 10, cool factor 8 out of 10. Project 5, build your own gig or Redis, 10 out of 10 in resume power, learning and coolness. I will personally immediately hire you if you can build a project like this. Building a simplified gig or Redis proves you understand how real tools work not just how to use them. It shows the serious depth of knowledge and interviewers absolutely love it. Through this project, you will dig deep into how tools like Git or Redis actually work. From data storage and file tracking to building your own mini command line tool. Here's how you can build this project on your own. Pick one, Git version control or Redis in memory database. Use Python to build core features like command, log, for git and get set for redis handle data persistence via simple file storage write clean markdown explaining your architecture pro tip document your design decisions as this helps you to impress recruiters and the difficulty rating 9 out of 10 project 6 ai mentor chatbot with the use of ai tools everywhere building one ai chatbot yourself shows you can work with dynamic user driven workflows like the real product teams do. So what are we building here? In this project, you will build your first smart chatbot like ChatGPT with memory. To be precise, this will be your personal programming Yoda. It learns what you are trying to do and gives you roadmap, coding help and interview advice. No, it won't do push-ups for you, but it will tell you what to do next. Here's how you can build this project step by step. Start by designing chatbot UI in React that handles user input, displays reply. Next up, use OpenAI to generate helpful coding resources, advice, and roadmap. Store chat history and user progress in MongoDB and manage sessions in your backend. Now, ratings, learning 9.5 out of 10, resume power 9.5 out of 10, coolness 9.5 out of 10, and difficulty level 7.5 out of 10. All right, now we are getting into projects that feels more like actual startup products. Now with this, you will become a god at coding. And when interviewers see these on your resume, it's an instant signal that this person knows how to think like a product developer, not just as a student. So let's just jump into it. Project 7, real-time collaborative markdown editor. This is your simplified notion or Google Docs clone. In our previous app, user interacted alone. But in this project, we will build a real-time collaborative app. In our case, a simplified notion where multiple users can edit at the same time in the document. You will learn how to sync live data using WebSockets, manage edit conflicts with operational transforms, track version history. These are key skills for building modern SaaS and productivity tools. Here's how to build this project. Build a text editor in React using a library like TipTap. Use WebSockets via Socket.io to send real-time changes between users. Add a syncing algorithm using operational transforms to avoid edit conflicts. Store each document and its version history in MongoDB and optionally Redis. My rating, since handling real-time syncing is not easy. I had rated 8.5 out of 10 in difficulty. 9.5 in resume worthiness and learning aspect and 10 on 10 in coolness. Now to build the advanced level projects, you are expected to build the fundamentals on machine learning, easy level hardware understanding and lastly logic building. But before we jump into project 8, here's a quick thing. I have created a free ebook called System Design Make Easy. It breaks down complex concepts into super simple steps especially if you are preparing for tech interviews. Link is in the description. Go grab it. It's free. Project 8. Productivity Tracker with Gamification. This is your first engagement focus step. Imagine for a student studying alone. It's kind of boring. But add rewards like points, streaks and a leaderboard. Now it's a game. This tracker 
turns boring routine into social challenges. Think Duolingo, but for coding or college. Through this project, you will learn how to track user behaviors, turn it into progress dashboards, and use gamification tools. That's what I called a real-world result-oriented application. Here's how you can build this step by step. Start by setting up a login UI to track sessions and behavior with a React UI plus backend scoring logic. Build a dashboard that shows streaks, points, badges, and leaderboard. Add OpenAI for weekly reports and productivity tips to keep users engaged. My rating for this project. Since gamification needs logic building, so a 7.5 in difficulty, 9 in resume power, and 9.5 in learning aspect. Since you will learn backend scoring, dashboards, social features. Lastly, a 10 in coolness factor. Project 9 is SWORD, speech to voice recognizer. This is also one of the unfair resume project, especially for companies working with AI, health tech, and robotics. Why? Unlike all previous software-driven projects, this blanks IoT devices, machine learning, and speech API into a fully interactive product with real-world impact. I dig this project personally. It taught me how to mix hardware, AI, and real-world impact in one project. Through this project, I learned IoT hardware integration, train gesture recognition models, and use AI to turn hand signs into real-time speech. It proves you can connect hardware, software, and purpose in one system. So if this project interests you, here's how you can build it step by step. One, connect flex motion sensors on a glove to Raspberry Pi or Arduino and gather gesture data. Train a model on TensorFlow to map gestures to text. Use a text to speech API to vocalize output and display feedback on screen. My rating, this was definitely a tough project. I had rated the difficulty 9.5 out of 10. In terms of resume power, it's a full 10. This stood out in every interview for me. For learning, I had give it a 10 out of 10 since it taught me everything from sensor integration to AI pipelines. And coolness, easily a 10. It solves a real meaningful problem. Project 10, car pollution checker. I also built this project and this introduces me to computer vision, hardware integration, and real-time compliance system. Unlike previous AI or web-based project, this one combines vision plus hardware plus backend workflow to solve a real problem. Automating pollution checks, a task that is done manually today. This project proves you can use tech to solve real-world civic and environment problems, which interviewers love. It also shows you understand the system from input, camera, to processing, OCR, and database, to output, dashboarding and alert. Here's how you can build this project step by step. Capture car images with Raspberry Pi and camera module. Extract license plate with OCR. You can use vision APIs. Cross check against your pollution compliance database. Display pass fail status in a dashboard. You can optionally send alerts or log violation. Difficulty 8.5 since it was challenging but manageable with consistent efforts. For resume power again it's a 10 on 10. This project shows initiative and real-world thinking. Learning-wise, I had give it a 9.5 and for coolness factor, it is a solid 9.5. Not many people build projects like this. Now let's talk about the coding project that will give you an unfair advantage. If I only have time for one project, this is what I would build. AI resume and LinkedIn profile checker. Why? Because this project takes a sweet spot between real-world needs AI skills and shows your full stack skills. You are not just making a cool app. Instead, you are building a career tool. One that solves huge problem every single job seeker has. And this tool does exactly that. It reads your resume, analyzes it, checks your LinkedIn, and gives smart, clear suggestions. You can even compare it to job description and see how well you match. When you show this to an interviewer, it speaks for itself. By building this, you will learn. First, in the front end, you will cover React and Tailwind by creating clean forms, job matching dashboards, and showing AI suggestions. In back end, you will cover Node.js plus Express by handling file inputs, connecting to OpenAI, building REST APIs. You will also work on databases, MongoDB, while storing user profiles, 
working on resume scores and improvement logs. Here's how you can build this step by step. Step 1. Start by building a React form by uploading resume or LinkedIn URLs and parse them using PDF parser or LinkedIn script. Send expected text to OpenAI to analyze trends, gap and match against the job description. Show feedback in the dashboard with scores and suggestions and let users log in, track and improve over time. Now this video is incomplete because I told you you will become a pro in coding in 3 months. Reality is coding projects are just part of coding journey. That does not mean you will become a pro coder in 3 months. And if you look at my journey, it was a mess. Reason? When I started coding, I wasted a lot of time on unuseful YouTube tutorials, Udemy courses, mixed efforts due to wrong guidance from YouTubers and many things. But if I had the clarity of what I am having right now, I could start coding and within 6 months, I would land a job at Microsoft. So if you are wondering how to learn coding and get a job in 6 months, check out this video where I share the exact roadmap that I would follow to get a high paying job in 6 months starting from zero.